Hi. Today, I'll just demonstrate the logic behind covering the zeros with minimum number of lines while solving assignment problem using Hungarian algorithm. So first, what I will do is that I will just solve uh, as it is, um, just covering the zeros with minimum number of lines, and then explain the logic behind that. So in uh, solving assignment problem, we first uh, take uh, the minimum of each of the rows and deduct uh, all the numbers including itself in order to generate as many zeros as possible so that's what i'm going to do now so in the first row if you can observe properly if you're observing you know that uh, the least number is uh, four so i'll deduct four from uh, all the numbers including itself in order to get uh, nine zero three two and uh, i'm i've started uh, without explaining the meaning of all these things assuming that you already know what is an assignment problem here we are assigning uh, four tasks these to these four machines and if i assign some task to some machine i cannot assign other task to to the same machine and the same machine cannot perform other tasks so uh, now taking the least in the second row which is one i'll get zero 10 uh, 4 and 3 here and 2 is the least in the third row so i would get uh, 4 5 0 and uh, 6 if i deduct 2 from all the numbers and finally 1 is the least in the fourth row so i'll deduct 1 from all the numbers to get uh, 0 2 4 and uh, 8 after getting so if you can observe this matrix we have not generated a zero in this last column so i need to generate a zero here so that uh, i can easily assign the task to machines in order to do that uh, i will have to pick the least in the row in that column and deduct all the numbers by the least number in order to get if I do so, I will be getting uh, 9, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 10, 5, 2, 3, 4, 0, 4. These three columns do not change because 0 is the minimum in these three columns. So even if I pick the minimum and deduct uh, from all the numbers, by that number i would get the same numbers digits back so i it doesn't change in the last column what happens is that two is the minimum number so i'll detect all the numbers uh, by two in order to get uh, zero here one here uh, four here and uh, six here now in the fourth iteration now we use this uh, thumb rule that covering the zeros with minimum number of lines now i'll just cover the zeros if i if i draw a line i am covering two zeros here and if i strike a line here this row if i strike this row i am covering two other zeros and if i strike one more line like this this column third column i would be covering the balance the last zero so now we have used three lines to cover all the zeros which means that uh, it is less than the size of the matrix so we will have to move forward which means that we have not generated enough zeros so i have to generate enough zeros now what we do is that we pick the least among the uncovered numbers and then deduct all the uncovered numbers by that number and then add to the intersectional point this is what we will be doing to move forward so I'll pick the least amongst the uncovered numbers. This, 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 this are uncovered numbers and one is the least. So I'll deduct one from all these six numbers including itself so that when I do so I generate a new zero here. And then add one to this intersectional point and then this intersectional point. So I would get 10 because I have to add one here to this intersectional point, point and then I would get four here and then this is zero as usual. And this is 0 this will be 9 because I have to deduct 1 this won't change and this will be 0 
and uh, this won't change for this will be four zero three zero one three five is the matrix now let me cover all the zeros with minimum number of lines when I strike this row I have covered two zeros when I strike this column I have covered two more zeros when I strike this column I have covered one more zero and I, when I strike this row I have covered zero so I have used since I have used four lines to cover all the zeros and uh, four is equal to the size of the matrix because the size of the matrix is four into four then I have to stop here because it means that I have generated enough zeros in order to do the assignment now in order to do the assignment we follow simple rule that uh, first uh, allot assign a single zero row and this row has got a single zero so as I will assign third task to third machine and then this has got a single zero so I will assign this first task to four machine which means that I can't assign this first task to second machine and now this is a single zero so I'll assign the fourth task to second machine and then cancel this because I can't assign fourth machine fourth task to first machine and then assign this second job second task to first machine and this is the final assignment and the final assignment is uh, something like this that I'm assigning ta machine one task to which takes uh, two four hours four hours i'm getting from the original matrix and then uh, machine two i'm assigning fourth job which takes uh, four hours another four hours machine three i'm assigning third job third task which takes two hours and then machine 4 finally will carry out the first task and it takes 1 hour totally 4 plus 4 8 to 10 11 hours to assign to complete the jobs and this is the best assignment if you assign like this then you will completing all the four tasks in minimum time which is 11 hours this is the normal procedure now I'll explain you why we draw this, cancel, strike this out, cover the zeros with the minimum number of lines in order to move further. In order to do that, what I'll do is that I'll uh, pick this uh, matrix, which is uh, which I got after deducting the column wise here, the fourth column I deducted two and then finally reached this matrix. After reaching this matrix, we covered the zero with minimum number of lines. So I'll take this as starting point and uh, do the explanation. So uh, I'll just copy paste this uh, uh, task, the, this matrix, which involves uh, four tasks and then uh, four machines. So nine zero three zero nine zero three zero zero. 10, 4, 1, 4, 5, 0, 4, 0, 2, 4, 6. Now, from the upper matrix, we knew that uh, we had to move further because we had uh, not generated enough uh, zeros. In order to do, generate a new zero, what we will do is that we will pick the minimum amongst the entire numbers which is 1 other than the 0 because I have to generate 0. If you pick 0 and deduct 0 from uh, pick 0 and deduct everything from 0 you will get the same matrix back which I don't want so I will pick the next least number which is 1 and then generate a new 0 here. When I do so uh, so what will happen is that uh, wherever there is a zero I will get a minus one like this so if I deduct one from nine I'll get eight here I'll get minus one here I'll get uh, two here I'll get minus one here I'll get minus one I'll get nine 
थ्री जीरो ही आई एम जनरेटिंग न्यू जीरो एंड देन थ्री फोर माइनस वन थ्री माइनस वन वन थ्री एंड फाइव नो वेन आई डू दिस असाइनमेंट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आई गॉट नेगेटिव वन सीयर सो what i am going to do is that i will just add one back to this row to this column to this column so that uh, i will convert this one to zero because we should we can't have minus one since the time taken cannot be negative so um, i will strike out i will just deduct one in the appropriate rows and columns to get back uh, zero there so if i want to do if i want to get back zero what i'm going to do is that now if i observe properly i will add one here to this uh, uh, column so i would be getting uh, 9 here 0 here 4 here and 0 here and then i will write the balance um, things as it is I'll just copy paste uh, first now i'll add one to this uh, row when i do so when i do so what i'm going to get is uh, t1 t2 t4 machine one machine two machine three machine four you can observe that i am going to add one here to this uh, row in order to get uh, 10 0 uh, 3 and then 1 uh, here sorry 0 here and then as usual other things i'll just copy paste 09030444 minus 1 3 0 1 3 5 now there is one he minus one here so i have to zero what i'm going to do is that i'll add one to this third column and get a zero there in place of uh, minus one since we can't have minus one as a time now just a sec let me write this down when i do so i'll get this 10009 i'm just copy paying pasting these two columns and then deduct one from add one to this third column so i get four here four here zero here and four here and then 0035 now we have got we have generated a new zero and then we have got rid of minus one when you check that what we did now we deducted one took the least number and deducted from all the numbers when i got minus 1 i added one to this row to this column and to this column and got this now this matrix which i got by doing all these things is should be equal to the one which we got here if you check this 10040094 should be equal to this matrix which means that i got this by doing so many steps which can be avoided by just by covering the zeros with minimum number of lines and picking the least amongst the uncovered numbers deduct the uncovered numbers by that number and adding that to the intersectional point we'll get this next matrix which is same as this one which we got by doing so many iterations which is avoidable and this is the logic behind covering the number of zeros with minimum number of lines while using hungarian algorithm to solve assignment problem thank you very much for hearing good night